One of the other things we do, of course, to reduce emissions, supposedly good for the environment, is put up all these wind turbines. Now, we're talking now about building all these offshore wind turbines, particularly off the coast of Gippsland in Victoria. Well, the Humane Society International has sat down with the federal government during the week to say, look, we're really worried about the impact of these wind turbines on bird, including albatrosses and petrels and all other sorts of things flying around, uh, flying around, sorry, out over the open water. They've had a few suggestions that we should have, for instance, minimum heights for wind turbines, so birds, as smart as they are, can just fly directly underneath <laughs> them, uh, completely unharmed. Such a problem is this, uh, according to the Humane Society International. It could be catastrophic for the population of birds in this country. And, of course, you know, the environmentalists are going to be really conflicted here because, well, I mean, do we have the wind turbines, which are just basically uh, uh, minces for birds, or do we kill all the birds? Who knows? What do we do here? Well, there is a solution. Uh, down in Tasmania, very recently, they developed some technology that's meant to be world-leading to stop birds from being minced up by these wind turbines. Basically, it's meant to detect that there's a bird coming towards the wind turbine and it turns off. And it's been such a great success that it's killed at least eight eagles. I mean, you know, you can't have your cake and eat it too, can you? Do you want to kill the birds or do you want to reduce emissions? This Make your mind of, up. Because this, this wind farm, what's it called? Castle Hill Wind Car Farm in Tasmania, they were like, we've come up with a solution. They're going to turn off because they sense when mm -hmm. a bird's coming. We should just send in fake birds all the time so these <laughs> things are constantly turning off. But they're ginormous. So how on earth are they meant to stop in time oh, no. anyway? It's like they can't actually actually dodge the bird. So I was reading up about this today, given given the topic, and was looking at literal court cases in the States, because obviously they've had a lot more wind farms than us and over a lot, many, many years. ESI Energy last year was basically sued for killing 150 <laughs> eagles. So they had to pay $8 million in damages... They, they pledged to spend $27 million on ensuring none were killed in future and they promised to pay $30,000. These are all American dollars, by the way, for every eagle that they killed from then on. Wow. So you have a dead bird, ESI are up for another 30 k I mean, it's just madness. If you've been to the States like I have... And you've seen hills covered in these things. Not only are they an eyesore, like, they are the ugliest things you have ever mm. seen, but they are killing birds. And in that Tasmanian article that you point to, the, the bird expert literally says, if you give a flying rip about birds, just don't put these up. All the data <laughs> shows they're bird killers. Save the so birds. So you want to save birds? or you want your wind turbines, you can't have both. So here's what our government's doing. They're exacerbating the extinction crisis mm -hmm. to solve the climate crisis Correct. while creating a power crisis. Yeah. Tanya Plibersek cannot allow these developments to go ahead because under any circumstances other than a wind farm, Elbatross is at risk. They'd say, no, no, you can't do it. So if she allows this to go ahead, Caleb, her credibility is shredded, just like the eagle... And the seagull That's if she and the albatross, well, they're all shredded. 